Hello everyone, myself Bhumi Patel, Assistant Professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology in Department of Electronics and Communication. Today we are going to discuss about the unit number 2, Control Panel, different types of control panel and the application of the control panel. Now what is the tubing run? So tubing run is always connected horizontal or vertical panels and it is a carefully grounded for the accessory. Now the incoming and outgoing transmission lines should be terminated with the fitting in a a bulk head bar at the rear of the control panel. Now the pressure switch, each auxiliary pressure switch or the similar device which required a testing may be plug provide with the two part a valve or the plug T and the next one is the tube fitting valve. So it is a pressure switch requirement for the tubing run. Now there are three types of material used for the tubing run. First one is the plastic tubing. So plastic tubing has been increased for pneumatic installation because the reduce the labor cost compared to the metal tubing. Next one is the copper tubing. Copper tubing is good for the tube bending and the cost of the copper tubing is uh, more compared to the plastic tubing and the third one is the aluminium tubing. It is formally easily used in the panel piping and the main disadvantages of the aluminium tubing is its vibration. So in the most of the control panel we have use of plastic tubing in some main advantages or in some main control panel we can also use a copper or aluminum tubing. So this is the different material used for the tubing system. Now the ne now next topic is panel wiring in the panel piping and tubing section. So first of all we can divide the wiring into division area. In the last session we have studied about the electrical classification and the we can classify the electrical system in two division, division 1 and division 2 depending upon the hazardous and atmospheric atmosphere area used in the control panel. So we can use generally division 2 area for the panel wiring system. Now next one is the AC wiring. If we want to connect the AC supply for the system that type we can connect the panel to the AC wiring system. Now if we want to connect the control panel to the DC supply. So the panel wiring is known as the DC wiring. Now the next one is the provided with insulated case. We have used here different different wiring in the same control panel. So insulation is the most important part of the system. We can compulsory provide the insulated case for, for each and every wiring. Now the next one is the 440 watt are not permitted. Here you can see that one operator or one engineer is work with the control panel. If the operator or engineer work with the control panel if we circuits of 440 watt are not, not permitted in the control center to panel because many company do not work with the hazardous area and the capacity of the operator or engineer is only 110 volt. If we use the 440 watt circuits so the separate cover a mark 440 volt should be provided for easy identification and maintenance purpose. If we connect the 440 watt in the same control panel, we can identify for the voltage and we can operate this system for the same voltage. But generally 440 volt are not permitted in the control panel. Now next one is name plates and text 
here name pairs and tags also important for the control panel because in the same control panel we have used the different different instrument so the name plate is also important so name plate is always connected in the front and rear of the control panel if we connect the instrument in the front layout and the name plate in the back side so it is the no meaning for the name plate of the system so the arrangement of the name plate is always front and the rear of the system now all the component used in the system always have a name plate because an operator or an engineer knows that which type of instrument used in the control panel now the next one is the manufacture of the name plate is 1 by 16 inch laminated plastic with the different color in the same control panel we have used a different different measurement instrument so name plate is made with plastic and the color of the name plate of the different instrument is a different so we can easily identify which type of instrument used in this system now attach to the panel face name plate always attached to the panel face if we convert or if we replace the instrument in the one control panel to another control panel the name plate is always attached to the instrument so we can easily remove or replace the instrument from one panel to another panel now next one is painting painting is another important criteria for the instrument so first point is proper paint selection while we paint the control panel it is the proper color selection for the instrument we cannot any we cannot color any instrument by any color okay if we use the flow for the green color so we can use the temperature for the red color so pay, proper paint selection is also important for the painting section color color se selection for the exterior we can use the internal part of the control panel as well as the external part of the control panel so, so color selection of the internal and external part is different now next one is the epoxy based paint or other special environment finish may be applied to the front panel surface while we can paint the control panel in the front layer we can always use the epoxy based paint or other special environmental color for the future use we cannot use a simple color for the front panel surface now next one is the graphic display now in the graphic display is always laminated with the plastic sealed now the snap in the plastic square with, with the painted symbol every graphic display it contain a symbol of the instrument so we can easily identify the symbol or of the instrument using graphic display the next is symbol painted directly on the face of the panel symbol is always painted on the face of the control panel and symbol generated by a computer or display on the crt screen so these are the topic for the graphic display and the next one is two type of process flow diagram used in the graphic uh, process first one is the uh, full graphic process diagram in the full graphic concept is manufactured on a scale large enough to locate miniature case instrument in the equipment outline and the next process flow diagram is semi graphic process diagram presented only a small scale size they, that may be attached to 24 to 30 inch line sections of the panel area for the flat face and break front type control panel so depending upon upon the instrument size we have we have divided the process flow diagram into two types full graphics and semi graphics graphic display first we have studied about the definition of control panel a control panel is used to instruments for the purpose of measurement 
monitoring, protection, detection, control and manage the processes. So in the field instrumentation, we have one control panel. It is used for many functions. The panels are located in a control room as well as a field term as a local control panel for operational convenience. We can mount the control panel in a control room as well as the field area. So this is the definition of the control panel. Next one is the requirement of the control panel. So first one is the reduction in size of individual instrument. In the field area, if we have used more than one instrument, the size of the field area will be greater. If we are using a one control panel with different instrument, the size of the individual instrument will be reduced. So the first requirement is the control panel reduction in, in size. The next one is increase quantity of instrument for which a single operator is responsible. Here in control panel, we have used a multiple instrument in the same panel. So all the instrument is operated by the single operator. We don't require a multiple operator for the same thing. Next one is the availability of new hardware. If we have installed a new hardware in the same panel, there is a available space for the control panel. Now, the next one is the control panel. So, this is the control panel used in only 1950 large case instrument permitted only a few instrument in relatively large panel area. Now, how the control panel is distributed? The panel is called a PLC control panel with a PLC install associated wiring and power supply. If a panel is pneumatic controller and indicator which is operated by air, it is called a pneumatic control panel which associate with controller, transducer, gauge, etc. If panel is called hydraulic, if it is operated by oil which associate with the pressure gauge, direct sir control valve, etc. Now, in modern industry, use the instrument for the measurement of various parameters such as electrical, voltage, pressure, temperature, flow, acceleration, density, level, mass, volume, etc. Now, here you can see that this type of control panel is used for large case instrument. The next control panel is the introduction of miniature case instrument by the mid of the 1950 permitted more than twice as many instruments to be used in the given amount of panel space as large scale instrument. So here the previous control panel and this control panel the difference is there this control panel is used for the large scale instrument. In every control panel it is include the controller, indicator etc. The next one is the greater minimization together with the high density concept introduced in 1960 allow much more information and the controllability in the given amount of space. So in the previous control panel we can only the control the data. In this type of control panel we can control as well as informa information regarding data we can collect. So this is the difference between the three control panel. The next one is the control room layout. So you can see in this diagram one control room layout is given here two control panel is given first one is here and the second one is here one operator decks is here where it is controlling and this is the temperature readout the section and this is the operator console section 
and the outer layer of the control room is connected with the terminal cabinet so this is the general control room layout of the control system now the design of the control room and the control panel that compare is the control center centers varies with the great deal from one company to another company it is also vary from the same company from one plant to another plant because the control room layout is every plant it is changed what is factor affected for the control room layout the first one is the changes in the instrument hardware next one is the improve control concept third one is the plant operation data variation and the fourth one is the personal preference of the people who lay out the control panel or who design the control panel or control room layout so person to person plant to plant and company to company the layout of the control room is different now the basic purpose of the control room center is the area of the comfort area the next one is the environment compatibility with low instrument maintenance cost and the limited traffic to personnel not directly concerned with the controls or their maintenance layout of the control room is also important for the which type of instrument we can use the layout uh, next one is the we can always use the rectangle layout of the control panel you can see here this is the rectangle layout of the control room usually prefer because the it is the straight light layout and remove the operator from their equipment in some industry some field area u shape layout also be used the next important thing is sufficient space must be allow between the rear of the control panel and the room wall because the maintenance accessibility now provision must be provide for the interconnecting piping tubing and wiring between the cabinets and from the control room to the field area next thing is extra space is also required in future if you want to add some extra new hardware in this control room or control panel we can easily lay out the control room now the door of the control room must be large enough so entry and exit of the panel cabinet or the hardware must be easily op operable so this is the control room layout of the control panel now the control panel layout here you can see in this diagram this is the back side control panel layout of the field area here you can see that multiple instrument is used and this is the back side that means the front side the controlling purpose a uh, switch is is connected for this instrument and here the some wiring connected between this instrument so this is the control panel layout of this back side system here the extra space is given for the new hardware so in the next session we have study about the different types of control panel and its sub type and the different different panel layout of the system thank you everyone if anyone have doubt then contact me in this email id bhumi.patel@lj institute.edu.in